Well, since the pandemic, there's been a dramatic rise in the number of emotional support animals. Yeah, and that got our answers desk thinking, have you noticed all the different types of animals that seem to qualify for that distinction? Here's CBS 13's Tony Lopez. When you think emotional support animal, you think dog, right? Well, more pet owners are thinking outside the box. What are you doing? <laughs> Yep, that's a woman kissing a skunk, but not any skunk. This is an emotional support skunk. Just one of a few of the more exotic critters able to get that distinction. I said you're not taking my squirrel, sorry. That's an emotional support squirrel taken off a plane because the airline says rodents are not allowed. The owner is now suing. So just how easy is it to get a pet declared an emotional support animal? Well, first, you have to get a licensed therapist to certify that you have a mental health disability and the animal's presence improves your condition. You'll then need what's called an ESA letter that stands for Emotional Support Animals from a Therapist, but no official registry is actually needed. Airlines used to allow more emotional support animals, but a couple of years ago, as more people obtained ESA letters for their peacocks, kittens, pigs, and yes, crocs, and not the kind you slip on your feet, they cracked down and most airlines only allow qualified service dogs. Experts say the dramatic rise in emotional support animals can be tied to a couple of things. First, the pandemic, as more people relied on our pets for companionship. And secondly, the need for housing, because right now landlords are required to accept pets if the tenant has an ESA letter. From the Answers Desk, I'm Tony Lopez. Back to you.